What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am your host today, Vet Dog. As always, you know that by now, I'm sure you did. But today, we're doing a little special segment of which I like to call Vet Dog Drinks. Well, more like Vet Dog Taste Tests. Vet Dog Reviews. We're gonna review something today and it's gonna be a drink. Maybe I should call it Vet Dog Drink Reviews. I don't know, we're not, we don't have time to work on the name right now. Right now, we need to announce what we have in store for today's video. I'm sure you already know what what it is because of the title, but if you didn't believe it or you haven't heard of it, you didn't know it was true, well it is. I'm here to tell you folks, it's here. This is hard Mountain Dew. This is an alcoholic version of Mountain Dew made by Mountain Dew themselves. This is real. You can get it as long as you live in one of three states as of right now. You can get them in Iowa, Tennessee and Florida. Luckily, I do live in Florida, as most of you know. Also, I was born in Iowa. And I used to be around the Tennessee area. I lived in North Carolina, so if I did still live there, I would still make the trip. Either way, no matter which state I would be living in right now, I would make the trip to get this. Mountain Dew is one of my favorite sodas. I'm a hundred percent honest about that. Mountain Dew and root beer, both of my top two sodas that I've really tried. I'm sure there's lots of sodas out there I haven't tried, but I absolutely freaked out. Absolutely freaked out whenever I seen that there was hard Mountain Dew. <laughs> Why wouldn't I get excited about this? This is amazing. They do have four flavors. It comes in a variety pack. I did not see any tall boy cans. I did not see anything else. I'm sure they will be releasing them to the other states, but they have to start off in a few of them first just to get them out there and just to see how things go. I'm sure they had plenty of people taste test them before they even released them, but as we know, some people can be very harsh and people will not always like things because a lot of people don't like the, what's that, what's that one flavor of uh, White Claw that people don't really like, still sell it for some reason. It's not mango. It's grapefruit, grapefruit, the grapefruit White Claw, absolutely dog shit, terrible, terrible terrible drink. Now there are three of each flavors in this box. We do have the uh, whatever this one is, watermelon, the pink one, watermelon hard Mountain Dew, Baja Blast, which you know most people are probably more excited for the Baja Blast than any of the other flavors in there. I don't really understand why people never really freaked out as about other flavors as they did of Baja Blast. There, There's always been like huge hype and huge freaking out about Baja Blast and I don't get it. I don't really understand what's so great about Baja Blast. It's not personally my forte or my my forte. It's not my it's not it's not what, what am I trying to say? I don't know, but this is Vet Dog Taste Test Reviews, so we're not gonna be thinking a whole lot. We're just gonna be tasting and reviewing Hard Mountain Dew. This one is the Black Cherry right there, Mountain Dew a Black Cherry. It does have a nice little grizzly bear on it. Makes it look fierce and intense and crazy. I, I did not realize that these each have their own animal on it. So the watermelon one has a snake. That's pretty dope. The original, I'm gonna call it original, it doesn't say anything, it's just got the, the, it's green. People say it tastes like the classic original Mountain Dew. That one's got an eagle on it. And these are all zero sugar, which is great. I do not like sugary drinks with alcohol, um, unless it's like a margarita. Something that's strong with the alcohol and has like a little bit of sugar I'm okay with, but there's certain drinks like Four Locos and stuff that are just, just, it, just they're so sweet and they are ridiculous. The Baja Blast has, I think, I'm pretty sure that's a wolf. Pretty sure that's a wolf on there, but they have like waves in the background, like ocean waves. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. You guys see the fin on the top up here, on the opposite side of my middle finger, right where my thumb is? That's a, that's a shark. That is 100% a shark. So, not a wolf, it's a shark. But I've done about like 20 minutes of talking in this video so far, so we should go ahead and start taste testing. So people, don't start leaving the video more than they already have, okay? What sh we take a vote now, which one you guys think is going to be the best? We got watermelon, that's black cherry, but I'm holding it up and saying watermelon anyways. So then we got watermelon right here, boom, look at that. And then we have Baja Blast and Original. So we have Baja Blast, Original, Black Cherry, Watermelon. I've said it many times already, I almost dropped it. Probably not gonna drink that one because it's a little 
shaking up right now. So let's start. I'm actually going to save the original, the classic, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to save that one for last. I'm going to save the Baja Blast for second to last because I expect those to be my favorites of all of these. The watermelon, not too fond of. Usually, I didn't really like the soda itself that much. So we're going to go ahead and try black cherry. I don't think I have ever had a black cherry Mountain Dew. So hopefully this one's good. Uh, these are carbonated. These are colorful. This one's like a red. I don't, I don't think I can show it. Probably not the smartest idea to be wearing a white shirt. But also, let me go get a, a clear glass so you guys can see the contents of this drink. There we go. We got a clear glass. Let's go ahead and pour this in there. This is the black cherry one. We're not going to be drinking a ton of this like we did for our... I don't even know if I posted it on this channel. I might have just posted it on TikTok. But I did do the Four loco variety pack. That shit absolutely wrecked me. I did end up throwing up while recording the video. I did not record me throwing up, but I did throw up just because of all the sugar and how much I drank. I was already drinking before that video. I started recording the video, drank those four locos. I had to finish them. And then I think the thing that really upset my stomach was mixing all of them together into one glass and chugging it. Probably, probably not the smartest, most responsible idea I could have come up with, but I did it. I did it for the content. And in the background of the recording, you could hear me throwing up. It just sounded like a s just solid waterfall, and it was terrible. You know, the black cherry, I'm not, oh. Was this glass cleaned? Who cleaned this? Who cleaned my glass? Because that had a speck of something in it, of which I am not okay with. But anyways, I'm not usually a fan of black cherry flavors, black cherry drinks, black, can black cherry candy. I'm okay with black cherry warheads. I actually do enjoy black cherry warheads. I enjoy all the warheads because they're amazing. This one is pretty good. I do enjoy it. I could sit here and continue to drink it because, you know, it's a, it's a nice drink. It tastes great. And it's zero sugar. It's still sweet because of the flavorings. And I'm sure there's probably artificial, like some sort of sweetener in it. But there is no sugar and it doesn't leave your mouth feeling disgusting. If you're not a sugar person and you don't like sugar, you might like these. I don't know because of the sweetener. I'm not sure what your preferences are. But they definitely don't make your mouth feel dirty for eating sugar. But... On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate the black cherry probably, I'd say a 6, a solid 6. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of black cherry flavors. I'd probably give it a 5, to be more honest. Probably where I would put it is a 5 on the 1 to 10 scale. Oh my gosh! I should probably pour this a little faster so I don't get it all over me. We'll do it. Hey, that, that one's... You can't tell... You can't really tell from... The, the camera quality, but this is pink. This is bright pink. This is the watermelon one right there, as you can barely see right there. Boom, bam, 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 bam. These are 5% alcohol. You must be 21 or over to drink. That's what the law says, so follow it. I do not condone underage drinking, although uh, some of us might have partaken in some events related to it when we were younger most people have done it they're not going to admit it some people will admit it you know it's it's a thing that happens okay but i do not promote that to young people and tell them to drink it because they need to if you don't like alcohol you don't want to experience alcohol don't do it we're, we're just going to move on from this topic because i feel like I, some someone's going to take something that i say the wrong way you're here for the review of the mountain dew Ooh, very good, very watermelony at the beginning. And then right at the end, there is a strange bitterness that just hits. It's not hard. It's not like a hard hit. But it does like it does tap you a bit. It just like kind of smacks your your tongue. It awakens your senses of murder. Like that's what you want to do. You might not want to do it, but you know, I'm going a little too into detail apparently on this review today, but let's try it again. Uh, the watermelon's okay. I'll probably give that one 
I'd say a six. I do rate it higher than the black cherry because I do like fruitier flavors when drinking drinks and stuff for alcohol wise. I don't know if I could drink that one as long just because it is so sweet, but the flavor is more enjoyable at the start. So I am going to rate it one higher than the black cherry, which was a five. So the black cherry is a five, watermelons a six, and we're going to go to not the original because I said I would save that one for last. That's one. That's the one I'm most excited about. You guys cannot believe how excited I was whenever I heard that one of the three states was Florida. I called so many stores. The local liquor store where all the college kids go. The college liquor store that's down the street. We got, there's like four on this road because it's, it's such a popular college neighborhood or area per se. Called the ABC stores. The wine and spirits stores. I called every place i called at least 10 stores literally a minimum of like 10 or 12 stores nobody had it i'm telling you nobody had it they said we don't have it yet we're getting ready to get it in they, one of the abc stores a little ways away from here about 20 minutes away did say that they were going to be getting it on that day but something had happened with the truck so they wouldn't be getting it until the next upcoming thursday so i decided to keep calling and then I found a place that did have them in stock. Good thing it was right down the street. It was literally like probably the closest liquor store I could have gone to to get these drinks. Next, we're going to be moving to the Baja Blast. I am pretty excited about this one. I hope this one does not let me down. I really want to enjoy it. Oh, 10 out of 10 on the smell. 10 out of 10 on the smell wise. Scale, scale, smell, smell, scale, ranker, 10 because it smells just like Baja Blast. It looks like Baja Blast. That's Baja Blast. You can't tell me it's not Baja Blast. That is 100% Baja blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to go in for a second one before I can even say anything. Hmm. What if I try it directly out of the can? Okay, it is a little bitter at the end. Also, let me state, none of these you can taste the alcohol. There's no strong flavor of alcohol. There's nothing that would make you think that there's alcohol in these. I could drink these thinking that they are just a carbonated flavored drink. I wouldn't think that they're a soda because there's not enough sugar and it doesn't it doesn't really like taste like a soda. So if you're not a fan of soda, I would still recommend trying these because they don't really resemble a soda just because of the absence of the sugar they just have like the flavors of these specific sodas you'd have to you'd have to you'd have to try it to understand what i'm really saying it does not resemble a soda but it also does not resemble an alcohol you wouldn't be drinking these and be like man that's strong it's definitely not like the four locos the little variety pack that they come in those things you knew there was alcohol and it was strong there's actually a nice balance you don't really taste it but it does strongly resemble the Baja Blast. I do taste the Baja in it and the blast from it. But there's just a little bit where I'm like, okay, there's there's kind of like a strange bitterness at the end. It's not bad. It's not like a bad bitterness like there was at the end of the watermelon. Like that one was just weird. That was just like a very strange time to like hit me with the bitterness on a really sweet drink like that. We will now be trying the original or the classic whatever you want to call it the, the the one that's probably going to taste the most like mountain dew and looks like piss in the camera but is actually green i don't know what i'm saying that one's good it is good i will give that one oh i didn't rate i didn't rate the baja blast you guys you guys forgot to tell me um, the Baja Blast, I'd probably give... I want to change the rating of the... I want one of these to at least have like a 9 or 10. So I'm going to change the ratings around a little bit. I'm officially changing Black Cherry to 5. Still. <coughs> it's still remaining the same. Watermelon, I'm going to bump it up to a 7 instead of a 6. Baja Blast would probably... It's probably a 9. 9 or 10, I'd say Baja Blast. And then the original, the classic, whatever you say it is. I'll give it an 8.75. Not a 9, 
but an 8.75 just because it does not strongly resemble the original flavor of Mountain Dew which is kind of a letdown it does in a way hint at the the original Mountain Dew flavor and it kind of does like it throws hints in there of of that specific one but it's just not strong it doesn't have a strong resemblance of the original Mountain Dew the green Mountain Dew that I love and it's just it's kind of disappointing it, it is it is a small letdown it will not stop me from drinking the rest of them but then again Mountain Dew does have a lot of sugar in it I'm pretty sure they have like 64 grams of sugar or something in them per serving which is a bottle of like 16 or 12 ounces whatever it is so that's a high amount of sugar in, in such a small amount but these are zero sugar it does it does resemble the Mountain Dew a bit I just think it would I feel like it could be stronger if it can't be and all of that flavor really comes from the sugar then that's probably what it is then I would probably rate this a 10 if that's what it's missing if that's all that it's missing is the sugar solid 10 but I'm gonna do an 8.75 not a 9 an 8.75 because the Baja Blast is slightly more like Baja Blast than the Mountain Dew original. Which is kind of a shame. I really thought I was going to enjoy the original more than any of the other flavors. Never been too big on Baja Blast. I do enjoy it. I'm just not freaking out and I wouldn't lose my shit if Taco Bell ever get, got rid of it. Or any of the stores got rid of it. I mean, it wouldn't really affect me that much. So I was really aiming for the original being the best one. But that was all of the flavors that we have for today in the box of Hard Mountain Dew Mix Pack. You guys can get these if you live in one of those three states. Iowa, Tennessee. Iowa, Tennessee, and Florida. If you live in those three states, you can go ahead, find somewhere near you that you can get it, go check it out, grab a pack yourself, try it, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. And if you want to see more things like this or any other related videos to anything else, then just subscribe. I do have another taste testing review. I actually did that one a long time ago on my channel. Those drinks were absolutely terrible. And I knew they were going to be terrible, but I just wanted to do them anyways because it was gonna be funny, I thought. <laughs> to me, personally, it was funny. Maybe you don't think it's funny. I can put that probably somewhere. You can look it up. I, I did a taste test. It's it's in there. It's, it's towards the beginning. I did one of those before. There were about weird flavored sodas. I think one was like grass and one was ranch. One was like cake. There was a lot, there was a, there, I don't remember which one it was, but there was, uh, I'm pretty sure there was a dirt flavor too. Those were absolutely disgusting. But you guys can subscribe if you would like to see more content like this or any other content. It is 100% free. You guys can unsubscribe anytime you want to, but I would encourage you, please do not do that. If there is an issue, let me know in a comment or some other way and we can solve that issue for you possibly as long as it's within reasonable range and as always you guys know what we say here on the channel peace out guys love you catch me in the next video